Okay, I'm going to make just a quick video about uh, harvesting arugula seeds. Uh, you know, you could use a similar uh, way of harvesting seeds, uh, like on certain vegetables, kind of like uh, I'd say arugula is probably the number one. Lettuce, you could do this way. You could also do radishes this way. Uh, but I'm going to do arugula because it's the first thing that I'm collecting. I've already done some of it here, but I got about halfway through and realized that some people might want to see this in video. So uh, basically all I'm doing, these are just... Uh, seeds that is spilled on the ground from last year and sprouted up and you know I hardly used any arugula off of them and then uh, basically I'm just cutting the seeds off of them so I'm just pulling these out of the ground these are only in like an inch or so it's a miracle this stuff actually lives and almost no water and soil it still lives fine so I don't know if you can see that but I mean I'd say this is like 80% dry seeds. There's still some green pods on there. I'm not really worried about getting every last seed. That's way more seeds than I'm going to use. I tomato, Mom. Good job, little bear. Okay. Okay, so basically all I'm doing is I'm taking these and I'm just breaking these pods open. If you look on here real close, these pods are just full of seeds. Um, I don't usually, you know, when I harvest this stuff, I never, you can never really let the whole thing get completely dry before you harvest them. Alright, so all I'm really doing is I'm just breaking these pods up. Uh, I've already got most of them broken up. I keep getting interrupted by wind and various things, so um, basically all I want to do is I want to break up um, the dry pods. There's going to be some green ones. You know what, I've never been able to get a whole bush to dry out because by the time the green ones are dry again, all the dry ones have like split completely open, spilled everywhere. So um, I usually just try to get, you know, like the first um, 50 to 80 percent of the seeds and then that's usually more than enough more than I'll ever use in a year off of I'd say three or four plants that I pulled up here um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna get all this um, kind of broken up toss these in the compost and then this stuff right here is the seeds and the chaff and then I'll show you how to get the, the seeds out of the chaff so now I'm just gonna pour some of the uh, seed chaff combo into my bucket here. It's just basically a you know a steel bowl. It doesn't really matter what you use. I just like this steel bowl because it's got high sides. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, so basically what I do with this is first I just kind of shake it, try to get is all the seeds. Uh, they're small and they're heavier than everything else in here, except for maybe some of the green stuff. Uh, and I want to kind of just get them to fall to the bottom. The bigger stuff, bucket for that. Just keep a bucket close by to put some of the, um, just some of the dead stuff in. Now we're not going to get every last seed. But what we're going to do is we're going to get a good chunk of them, and that's all we're really looking for. Like I said before, this is going to be more seed you're probably going to use, unless you have like an organic farm or something like that. There's a rock in there. And once we get down to a manageable level, Once it's kind of, you know, you start seeing lots of seeds in the bottom, it's kind of hard to pick out um, some of this stuff here. I start shaking it and then blowing. Now you'll lose some seeds doing this too. And you'll kind of get the hang of it too. It'll take a little practice. But what are you doing? is the lighter stuff uh, as you, when you blow on it it'll blow out of the bowl and the seeds will heavier will kind of ride up the sides of the bowl but they kind of just roll back down so you kind of want to it'll take practice to figure out exactly how hard to blow um, sometimes you might blow too hard and blow some seed out or not hard enough and not blow any of this chaff out so it'll just take a little practice after a while you'll get pretty good at it
Sometimes you can. Sometimes if you get quite a bit of it settling to one side, you can kind of flick it like this and the seeds will fall to the bottom and then the chaff will stay on top. And sometimes that will do a good job of getting it too. And then once you get a decent amount of stuff out, I just kind of throw it in there. You might lose some seeds, but like I said, again, we're not looking to get every single seed. If you start seeing in there, I don't know if you can see that, but um, there is you know, a lot of seeds in the bottom there. That's about half of what I have in this batch from those couple of plants there. And that's a lot of seed. That's like, you know, probably, you know, 100 packets of seeds that you get at, um, at a seed catalog. So, it's good to save seeds. getting pretty close to what we're looking for. Now the seeds aren't going to be 100% clean, but you know, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, if there's some small particles in there, it all plants the same. What we're mainly trying to do is trying to get down to uh, get the bulk of the seeds. Um, so I'm just getting the last few little pieces of junk in there that that are a little heavier and they don't want to blow out. It's sometimes when you get down to the last few, it's just easier to, to pick them out with your fingers. And that's about as far as I really go. Now if you look down in there, maybe it doesn't really look like that much. Um, this is a pretty big bowl. And if you look at the amount of seeds there, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds there. So uh, I'm not going to bother showing the next batch. And what I usually do with this is I'll uh, just take a paper, small paper envelope, I throw all this in there and uh, I'll put a, a date and a year and all that stuff uh, or I'll just do like some small baby food jars if I have those and put them in there. Uh, jars are good. I like jars. Um, paper envelopes work too. So hope you liked the video. Thanks. You know I, I just I decided I was just gonna go ahead and show how many seeds I got out of that batch. And again that was probably about um, Oh, you know, it's hard to say how many plants it was, but there was two big bunches of plants. Um, you know, I think there might have been two or three or four in each bunch. Um, you know, one plant could be the size of those were. Like I said, I didn't even plant those. Those just grew out of some rocks <laughs> next to my beds. Um, didn't water them, didn't do nothing with them. They just, you know, grew. So I let them go to seed and then uh, kept the seeds. So saving seeds is kind of a good way to save some money and, uh, you know, and, and give seeds to your buddies and, uh, you know, it's good to save your own seeds. So I'm going to toss it all in a paper envelope uh, or maybe a jar. I just wanted to show how much I got. I mean, like I said, this is a pretty big bowl. I mean, and, I mean, I could spread it out, but actually that's pretty deep. It's probably like a quarter inch deep of seeds. Um, and they're all about, you know, they're pretty... I guess it's kind of focus. They're decent sized seed. They're not like super small like lettuce or anything. So I don't know. I just want to show that. Thanks.